Hey dads, are y'all looking for the best front load washing machine? I've got this one right here that I want to talk to you guys about today because I've had it for I think like 12 to 14 years and I've never had any issues with it except for one small one that I'll talk about. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that I like, use, and have. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button and uh, let's get into it. We have this LG Trom front load washing machine. Like I said, we've had this thing for 12 to 14 years. It stood the test of time for us. It was one of the first appliances that me and my wife bought and is just rocking and rolling so first of all you have your uh, handle here for your front load you're gonna open it up it's got a nice locking mechanism here metal uh, hinge right here to be able to catch onto there and that just simply locks right into there it gives a nice sound nice catch uh, easy and then once the Washing machine has started, the lock actually locks in so that it can't actually open while it's running. Um, I do have a nice, uh, by the way, this is the, let's see, uh, I was going to find the model and I saw it right here, WM1812CW. I'll link that up down in the description below if you guys uh, want to check it out, read other reviews about it. Although since this one's so old, they may not have this one online that much anymore. So I'll find some of the ones that are similar to it with the same LG brand because I really like these LG appliances that I've been reviewing around our house. We didn't particularly go for LG, they just happened to be the thing that we wanted. So, um, taking a look at the drum here, go inside, you got a good, decent amount of space here. It's, uh, uh, I can't really eyeball that, two feet here in diameter. And then it opens up, you got, they add a little bit more once you get through here. Obviously we have some clothes already in there, but just a simple rolling drum, haven't had any problems with it. Um, never really smelled or anything it's got the stainless steel drum so it helps with all that uh whenever you take the clothes out actually this has been washed and so you get an idea for how wet they are it actually spins if you put it on high spin it gets a lot of the water out so that you can um so that you can don't have to use as much energy whenever you're drying which we'll review the dryer uh, in tomorrow's video but um one issue that we do have with this is if you overload it with like blankets or something if you put you know you're filling it to the max putting everything in and then uh, it starts to spin whenever it's doing its spin to get rid of all the water it's trying to suck all the water out uh, it, it causes too much vibration and that it's kind of like throwing a brick into a washing machine have you ever seen those videos um, basically it can't do it. it it gets out of balance and so it'll you do give you an error message and you have this sopping blanket that you have to try and dry now which is kind of frustrating but uh, so just a note to self don't overload the washing machine now, that's pretty much with any washing machine though um, taking a look at some of the controls up oh I wanted to point this out too real quick before we go to the controls down here is a little uh, opening where you can clean out the drains and whatnot um, Whenever it's time for that, you just simply take a knife and you pull this down. I meant to show you, but there's basically a little cap right here that you turn and it lets the water drain out. I can't, I don't want to open it right now for you because I don't want water to fall everywhere. And then there's a little pipe right here on the side. Uh, so coming up to the top of the washer here, this is obviously your power button. So you have to press that for anything to happen. Once that happens, this lights up and you can choose your setting. You have towels, normals, perm press, delicates, and hand wash. Just simply press the button to start. Or if you want to uh, pick some particular settings, you can do that over here as well. Depending on hand wash, you can't choose the soil level on because it's obviously a del more delicate thing. But you like cottons and towels and normals, you can change how soiled it is. You can change your spin, which I always recommend high. You can change uh, your water uh, type here from tap cold, cold cold, warm cold, warm warm, and hot cold. We usually just go tap cold to save uh, uh, electricity and water. Not electricity, save, well, yeah, I guess save electricity too if you have a hot water heater that's electric. You have an option of a pre-wash here, a quick cycle if you just want to go like a 28-minute cycle, and there's a quick rinse and spin, which takes 31 minutes where it just fills it with water and kind of rinses everything and then it spins it out. There's no detergent release or anything. Uh, this is the Super Capacity Direct Drive System. It does have quiet operation, which I can vouch for. We simply close this door right here and you basically cannot hear it at all. Um, 
This is the container where you put your detergents in. You have your main wash here. You have your pre-wash. You can do your softener here and you do your liquid bleach into here. I believe this thing comes out fairly easily. I can't remember exactly how to get it out so that you can wash it. Um, I can't remember how that comes out. Oh look, this little release right here. You gotta press down on that. And then the whole thing comes out so that you can, if anything gets stuck back there or whatever, or if you want to uh, clean your whole container out, you can do that. As far as hookups in the back, it's, you know, basic hot, cold water coming in from your, your taps and then you have your plug right there that plugs into it. Not very much uh, to go on there. You do have a nice flat top here, so if you want to store some things on it, we use this all uh, detergent right here. Uh, we keep it up top here so we can just open this halfway and kind of run it over here, put our cup right there. That way if anything spills, it just spills right into the container here. Look, I found this knife right here. I'll go ahead and show you all this opening down here. But like I said, if you guys want to check this out, I'll link it up down in the description. Go read other people's reviews. See, this is the little drain hatch and whatnot and the little pipe that I was talking about. Um, but go read other people's reviews down in the comments below or and down in the description below. Uh, I'll put the link to it on Amazon. And, it's, you know, the best information comes from other people's experiences with things. So make sure to go and click that link, read other people's reviews, find out what they liked about it, what they didn't like about it. Don't just take my opinion for it. Don't just take my word for it. Um, hopefully you guys can, can, you know, find the information that you need from everyone working together as a team. And that's kind of what we're doing here on Dad Reviews. If you're interested in our dryer, I'm gonna be doing that next, so make sure to click that subscribe button. I also have an LG refrigerator and range that I've reviewed. I'll link up that right up there if you guys wanna check out those videos. Thank you guys for watching. If y'all have a product that y'all want us to review here on Dad Reviews, let me know what it is down in the comments below. I'll put some more videos right there on the screen. I'd love it if you guys watched more of our videos. Again, thank y'all for watching, and Dad out. Oh, what kind of dryer do y'all have, or washer do y'all have?